When doing research for your literature and language classes, you probably rely on material found in journal articles and books. But the MLA International Bibliography also indexes scholarly websites to help you find some of the groundbreaking research projects available online. This tutorial will show you how to search for websites in the MLA Bibliography on ProQuest. The MLA Bibliography currently includes records for 2,000 websites, and more sites are being indexed every day. What can scholarship on the web do that articles and books can't? Websites can provide new ways of interacting with research. For example, the site Mapping the Republic of Letters includes an interactive map of places where editions of Voltaire's works have been published. Also, a website's ability to host videos, image galleries, and sound files provides an efficient platform for sharing visual and auditory information. On the site Weddings in Eastern Europe, you can hear folk music from the weddings under study. And the ASL Shakespeare Project includes videos of scenes from the play Twelfth Night being performed in American Sign Language, as well as critical material about the play. You can recognize records for websites among those for books, articles, and dissertations because they have a web icon to the left of the title. Click on the title to see a full record. Here you can find the website's URL and contents, as well as the date when the website was last updated. Remember, because websites can change or be updated without notice, content may have been added to or deleted from a site since it was indexed. Some websites even get taken down from the web. In this case, the MLA bibliography changes the website activity status below the URL to No. To search for websites in the MLA bibliography, enter the topic of your search on the Advanced Search page. Let's say you're researching productions of Shakespeare's plays. We'll enter Shakespeare Production as a keyword search. Then scroll down to the search options. In the Source Type section, find Website in the drop-down list and check the box next to it. Then continue down to click Search. Here are the results. Notice that below the search box you now see Additional Limits Source Type Website. This serves as a reminder that you're only searching the website records. You can also limit a search to websites at any time after you've already begun searching. To see if any websites are included among the thousands of results for a search for Shelley, Percy, look in the right-hand column for Source Type. Click on the plus sign to expand this section, and then click More Options to bring up the Source Type pop-up window. Look for Website in the list, check the box in the Include column, and select Apply to see the results. If there weren't any websites about Percy Shelley, this option wouldn't appear in the list. You can also browse the entire list of website records to see what has been included in the bibliography. To do this, leave the search boxes blank, but scroll down to Search Options Source Type. Check Website, and then continue down and click Search. You'll see all the website records from the bibliography. Websites can enrich your research experience with images, interactivity, and sound. Start searching for them in the MLA International Bibliography today. For more tutorials on searching the MLA International Bibliography, visit mla.org slash bibtutorials, like us on Facebook, or follow us on Twitter to get announcements as new tutorials are released. And if you have more questions, consult a librarian at your college or university library.